Hi, my name is Paweł Spachalski and welcome to the fourth, yes, the fourth episode of the tutorial how to series, how to set up iNav on the 5 inch quad. The most popular, the freestyle acro racer with GPS, but to be honest, GPS is optional. Also, in today's episode, we're gonna concentrate on the advanced tuning tab, which is more or less mostly about the GPS related stuff. If you are setting the iNav on the just on the racer, then uh, maybe not. Maybe you can ignore this part. But if you have a, a GPS on board, this is something for you. So let's begin. First of all, multi rotor navigation settings. All this section over here is only for the drones, only for the multi rotors, with some specific options. First is how you will control the speed of flight in the position hold in the loiter mode. Not, it's not loiter, it's a position hold mode, when the copter can stabilize the position based on the GPS. It's either attitude or cruise. In the attitude default mode, when you start moving the right stick, you just control the attitude just like you control the attitude in the angle mode. And when you release the stick, it goes back to the position holding. But if you choose cruise, then the sticks will be instead controlling the horizontal speed, not really the attitude. By default, when you deflect the stick to the max, to the front, for example, to the front, the quad, the mini quad in our case, the 5 incher, will want to travel with the speed of 5 meters per second. How much is 5 meters per second? Um, 18 kilometers per hour, that gives us slightly more than, no, 10. Slightly more than 18 kilometers per hour, which is slightly more than 10 miles per hour. This is rather slow. On a 5 incher, you sh can safely go to uh, 1000 centimeters per second, which is equivalent of 10 meters per second and 36 kilometers per hour, so more than 20 miles per hour. Am I all correctly transferring this? Yeah. Okay, meters per second. So with 10 on the 5 incher, you should be fine. Also, if you want to use return to home or the missions, you can also increase the max navigation speed because the max cruise speed is used only when you use cruise, but in the waypoints or in the return to home, this speed is used. 3 meters per second is not very fast, so let's set it to 7 meters. It also can do 10, but then the hold and landing at 10 is kind of be like, hmm, can be interesting experience, but the 7 should be more or less fine value. Also, you can set up the vertical speed that the UAV will be able, the drone in our case, will be able to do when you will control the altitude with the throttle after you enabled altitude hold. Default value in the alt hold mode is only 2 meters per second, which is not very much. I suggest to switch it to, let's say, 3. Uh, although the default navigation climb rate of 5 meters per second is fine. You, you, you really should not change this value. This one you might. Also, 30. In the one previous episode, we changed 30 of the max banking angle from 30 to something higher, but this is different. This is another value that limits only the navigation modes. And with the default 30, it's not very much, so we can safely on a 5 incher, powerful 5 incher, bump it to 45. Next, do we want to use mid throttle for alt hold? Um, I'd say yes, because if you don't, then the current throttle when you switch the altitude hold will be used as the throttle when you do not want to change your uh, altitude. And this is kind of like not very, hmm, let's say, user friendly from time to time. So I'm usually using the mid throttle for altitude hold and Tuning value. Again, tuning value that you don't really know the value before you start flying. Because how altitude works, how altitude hold works, after switching it on, it has to know what's the throttle position in which the 
quad will be able to hover. Default value is 1500 half throttle. Usually on a 5 incher it's closer to 1300. You can easily get this value from the black box lock later, but usually, like from the experience, I'm saying the default 1500 is too much and uh, when you start the altitude hold it will slightly jump into space and then only settle 1300 maybe 1350 is much better value for the 5 incher with the gps and now return to home and landing first of all altitude mode at least is the default option and usually is the good option because the return to home will happen on at least this altitude by default 10 meters. If you were below 10 meters when the return to home or failsafe actually started, then the quad will climb to the um, 10 meters and go home. If you're flying, let's say, in the, where there are woods or some hills, it might make sense to boost it to 20 meters to be on a safer. Climb before RTH on the mini quad, on the quad, yes, leave it on. It's a good, it's a really, really good idea to have it. Tail first, no, we don't want to go tail first. And do you want to land after return to home? I would say, yes, for me, at least it's yes. And now there are some settings that usually there is not really much uh, need to change and the default values are fine, especially the landing vertical speed and the mean vertical landing speed at altitude. On the flying wings, uh, you might want to change those, but on the multi rotors, they are fine and then they really should give you nice and smooth landing after RTH. Um, and I would just say, yeah, leave them by default. You do not have to change anything in the position estimator. Default values are 100% fine or you do not have to change anything in a fixed wing navigation settings. But there is still a topic of multi-rotor braking mode, config mode, mode configuration. I will not cover this topic yet today because the multi-rotor braking mode is absolutely separate entity and it needs separate tuning. Default values over here are usually fine for the 5, 6 or 7 inch mini drones um, but on anything else they might require some tuning and this is completely different topic and I will really not cover this topic today. You just have to trust me that if you don't use multi-rotor braking mode they do not apply to you and defaults should be fine. Okie dokie. Mm, I think this is all for today about the advanced tuning tab. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.